think we are live and ready to go. At least YouTube's giving me the green signal. So good morning, everyone, and welcome to the live stream where we go over the watch list and trade the market open every day. Hope everyone had a good fr Wednesday. I had to really think about that for a second. Um, today is Thursday, uh, the 23rd of January, and it's 9.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Market opens at 9.30, which means we got another 15 minutes before the market opens, and then we'll wrap up with 30 minutes trading the opening bell. So this whole live stream, like always, should last about 45 minutes. Check out the video description below if you guys got some questions. I just added a few more things there I'm gonna review now as well. Let's get started with the watch list and everything else. What's up, Tito? Should I say Valentin? Morning, Soar. <clears throat> so, few things. I don't, I don't even really know where to start. Um, let's see here. Let me think about this for a second. So there's two new things in the FAQ. Well, actually, three things. Let me just quickly do that. Um, if you, I got a question yesterday on a video. Do you have a video? Um, do I have a video on making a watch list? No, I don't. I do have my $25,000 challenge video, which does kind of go over my watch list a little bit, but I will make a separate video. I think it might even be the recap video today, but if it's not today, it'll be, you know, in the next week, I'll probably come out with it, um, where I go where I go over my scanner, uh, my pre-market, and then my after um, market open scanner. Um, but if you guys already want access to those, totally free. I don't charge for anything. The, there's two links below um, and you could just import these links into TD Ameritrade and, or Thinkorswim and then you get my basically how my scanner is set up. So um, all this basically will be auto populated for you um, and you could always play around with the settings. Um, anything else? Oh yeah, if you want access to my whole, the way I have my layout, I also have a link in the video description below. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's just my exhaustion by the time it's already what three seventeen over here. But I, my talking is just—it's horrible. My grammar and everything is just not okay. We're gonna see monster trades. What happened to the calm hand trades, Sebastian? Um, there's before I get into the watch list as well. One more thing. I mean, we got plenty of time. Honestly, we have 23 minutes. I mean, it's 13 minutes before the market opens. I do want to take a quick look at NTRP and and I just okay. All my accounts are showing. So my trade's gonna pop up here in a second. There it goes. Um, this is where we had that little pullback support line bounce trade, and it was what two percent or something like that. Um, it could have been a seven percent trade if I had you know perfect entry, perfect exit, and I really butchered this trade. Um, you can see it a lot better probably in the five minute, but you know, there's a reason I get out of my trade so, so quickly, even if it's, you know, if a breakout that's going too slow, if it's a support line balance, that's going too slow. If anything going too slow, not showing really big signs of strength, I'm out of there. And even if it shows signs of strength, I'll be out of there pretty quickly either way. Um, I'll probably let it run maybe a little bit more, but I'm, I'm taking my profits quick. And here's a good example. NTRP completely falls off a cliff here. I mean, this thing pulled back. Um, since our entry, 60%. Um, and you know, you don't know if there's going to be a second bounce, a third bounce. Maybe this thing would have went up to five, six, seven, eight dollars. I mean, sometimes you see that as well. Um, but it only takes this to happen to you a few times. <laughs> I know it's happened to me many times um, before you're like, you know what? The second a trade is not going my way, I'm out of here. And a lot of the best traders, I hear this all the time, they'll say, they, they'll know they have a winning trade within like the first few seconds. Um, so basically, let's say they're buying a breakout. Within a few seconds, they know that that's a profitable trade. Um, and then, and so, you know, they know there's big momentum behind it. They bought a breakout, boom, this thing's rallying. Um, so there's not a lot of sitting around, you know, waiting and wishing and hoping. It's, it's very calculated, it's very quick. And uh, that, I just wanted to kind of point, point that out for you guys. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, there's ads on my videos, so I guess I guess there's a little bit of charging, but other than that, um, everything's free. Um, what's up, Ethone? I I don't think I've seen you before. I think you're new. What's up, man? Um, Isaiah, good to see you again. GNPX, yeah, down massively, huh? Good morning, Shane. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not a lot you can say. Um, it, it's 
it's a slippery slope for a lot of these stocks. Anyway, let's get into the morning watch list. Let's talk about everything we wanted to talk about. All three of these stocks, by the way, they're all, you know, really small cap, um, small caps, really small. So under 30 million, uh, tiny floats. So they're all exactly what we're looking for. I went through their financials though, and just watch out, they all have warrants. Um, a lot of, lot of um, new shares that can be sold into the market, um, really crushing these stocks. So they're all gapping up tremendously. Let's see, like 120, 70% and another 250%. Big gappers, just keep in mind, um, these things can get crushed quickly. So, you know, as long as there's momentum behind them, great. But the, if that momentum kind of fizzles out, just like NTRP, you really, really wanna watch out. Ooh, let me take a breather. Okay, we got nine more minutes till the market opens. First one, INNT. Really, really nice. 23 million market cap, 23 million float as well. How weird is that? Um, yep, that's right. I had to double check. USA Biotech gapping up 120%. This one had just a ridiculous amount of warrants. I typically don't talk about warrants, but it's been kind of a big topic in the last week, so I thought I would throw it out there. Um, they have a merger deal on the table, so um, looking pretty good. I mean, if you look at their daily chart, it's crazy how much they went up. So they closed right around here at 66 cents, and now they're at 148. That's all, or they were at 148. So somewhere over here, now they're pulling back. They pulled all the way back to 93. So um, kind of, you know, of course, they went right to the moving average, 180 day, 180 day moving average and kind of bouncing now in this area. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw maybe 120 in the opening bell um, happen really, really quickly. So yeah, merger deal. Next stock, EMAN, 24 million mark cap, 45 million float. Um, not a lot of action though we're seeing right now. It's a USA semiconductor equipment and materials company, you know, gapping 70%, still pretty nice. Um, there's some warrants at 155, I think about 4 million. So just watch out for that. Um, so if this thing does run, I think it's going to hit a brick wall at that, at that price. Might be wrong, but just something to consider. Um, what was there? They had, I think they had good financials. Corporation price update on positive. Yeah, positive fourth quarter financial trends, announcement management changes. Okay, so just generally good fundamentals, I guess you can say, or, you know, updates and fundamentals. I don't know if we're going to be trading this one. It's, it's really looking like, it has super low volume. We'll see. Point you know six two seems to be tremendous uh, support on this one. So you know any sort of pullback to that, um, I think could be really good uh, green sailing. Now, what you want to think about as well is once the market opens, we want to see which one of these gets the most dollar volume. We want to see where the attention's flowing. Uh, C O D X. What do we got here? Holding its highs pretty well, huh? 19 million market cap, 10.7 million float, medical laboratories and research company. It's a US company. They're all three of these are US companies. This one's gapping 250%. How savage is that? Um, 1 million in warrants at an exercise price of 2.73. So um, this one busted right through that area. Um, so it seems like the warrants maybe aren't being exercised yet. Who knows? I, I would just watch out with this one. Could get crushed um, opening bell. Um, the thing though, this one, this one has micro and macro news, um, favoring it. So that's, that's really, really good, um, news. Uh, it nearly tripled after completion of design work for a coronavirus screener. So that's obviously in the news everywhere. And that's actually really impressive that they were able to, um, complete a design work for a screener on the virus. I mean, I usually I have no idea how long that stuff usually takes, but it, it seems pretty impressive to me. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's very simple. I have no idea. I want to see how those trades work. Well, um, Ethan, I, you know, I can't guarantee any trades. Uh, yesterday we did not get a trade for the morning open, but we got three trades like right after I closed the live stream. So that just happens sometimes, but we'll see. What's up, Tommy? <clears throat> I'm doing all right. Um, let's see, Valentine, what are you up to? I and NNT, 35.9 million outstanding shares. Yeah, out 
Outstanding shares though and float are a little bit different. Outstanding shares just means like how many shares are just, you know, generally out there. Um, float is how many are actually able to be traded. So you probably already know that. I just wasn't really sure in the way I read your, your statement. But um, so let's say a, you know, what's a good example? Um, some sort of, I don't know, pension fund buys a, I don't know, 10 million uh, shares and that, you know, though they are not going to give away those shares. Those are basically just held. Um, those will be taken away from the float. So now that company has basically whatever their float was or whatever their shares outstanding was minus those 10 million uh, shares. Um, and that will be their float unless, you know, that fund will announce that they're going to put those shares back on the market. So it's basically just tied up shares. Um, so anything with a really low float, right? There's not a lot to trade. So it's sometimes you get these really big spikes and anything under 50 million float is ideally what we look for. Sometimes you'll see floats of like 700,000 on these small caps, which is mind blowingly small. You manage to wake up right before the market opens. That's, I guess that's good, but market opens at 9.30. Uh, you gotta be waking up a little sooner than that. But we're all on different schedules, right? You're probably fishing way late. So three minutes and 30 seconds till the market opens. Let's see what happens. Whoa, we got 28 concurrent viewers. I think that's one of our highs. Hello, everyone that is new. Happy you guys are here. It's been pretty good fun in these live streams lately. Although I must say, check out my Garmin video. These live streams apparently increase my, my beats per minute extremely um i'll be chilling and then all of a sudden I'll, you know the live stream starts and i get up to like 90 100 beats per minute so right now my body's freaking out <clears throat> yeah we'll, we'll see what we're going to trade today um i i don't know um i think it's really going to depend on what's moving the hardest but that's my watch list and i must say apt i'm a little disappointed in myself that i missed this one yesterday this thing screams of what i trade um, just check out their long-term chart. We had a nice breakout here from $4. And anytime there's a breakout, there's usually some sort of healthy pullback. This thing literally pulls back to $4, $4 and one cent. Um, and then bounces 20, 29, 30%. I mean, that's like the most textbook classic support line bounce I have ever seen. Um, and guess who missed it? Me. Like, I worship that pattern and um, I don't know what I was doing. I think I was snoozing. I was probably looking at GNPX or something like that. Uh, but just, you know, beautiful, beautiful um, play. I, I definitely would have sold too early though. I probably would have sold near this shoulder, took my, you know, 10% profit and moved on. Um, but still, you know, 10% in just, you know, 10 minutes is not that bad. Uh, but this thing, yeah, this thing rallied 25% even more. So pretty, pretty nice. Two more minutes till the market opens, guys. We've got plenty of time. We got so much time. <clears throat> All right, let's get our accounts ready. So this challenge uses the cash account. Um, it uses the cash and the ROI account, uh, the ROI, the uh, Roth IRA account. Um, so it uses both of those. At one point, I'm going to merge the two. Um, I just can't take my funds out of my IRA, so that's the only... Only problem without paying a fee. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. There's not a lot on our scanner. It's a surprisingly quiet day for our scanner, but at the same time, there's some big movers. So it's just gonna generally be pretty interesting, I think. Um, I N N T. I'm super curious the way this one's gonna be running today. I got got a lot of tension on it. I think the one dollar area is really something we should um, pay attention to. So I'm gonna just go ahead and mark that just a little bit. Bring that down. There we go. Ah, me too, me too. Let's hope for good trades. INT, tremendous support here at a dollar. Let's see what happens. We're going to be trading with about $1,000 per position size for our first two trades and $600 for our last trade. So that's going to be our composition for today. Here we go, guys. Market's opening.
could see some really healthy support here at 0.94. Let's see what's moving. Dollar volume is going to be updated soon. 57% on INNT, AFH 45%. Both are really, really healthy. Big green volume coming in here. Opening up really nicely here. Let's see how it continues. CODX right now kind of taking the um, taking the open, taking the market by storm, hundred and forty percent up. Really nice. Eight percent move right there. That's what we want. That's what we want to see. I like the dollar vol um, dollar amount on this one the most, to be honest. Here we go, INNT finding huge support in this area. Not surprising at all. If we wanted to buy INNT, about a thousand shares closer to $1 would be pretty nice. I'm keeping a close eye on it. GNPX guys falling off a cliff. Keep, keep a watch out for this one. Just be very, very careful. Oof. Could see a healthy pullback. There, TD Ameritrade goes again, glitching like crazy. I don't know if you guys just saw that. Might see a little pullback. Probably should have bought this one out of the gates. Um, I kind of missed that one. I think um, in hindsight, it was pretty obvious, I suppose, but you never really know. Um, the reason it was obvious is because of this $1 huge support that you know held and we broke back above it. That's exactly what we like to see. 120, big resistance. There's, I would definitely go ahead and say there's gonna be big big resistance there, but let's see if it break break past that area. One point one point one one, holding big support now. Check out the five minute chart, big support here. I think there's a really good chance that this thing might continue. CODX is pulling back a lot. INNT trying to break past 117. These are really big moves from INNT. This was a 20% move already in three, three green candles. That's huge. Ooh, it's freezing in here. I didn't put on a sweater. Do you guys see that? I just didn't touch anything. We just switched stocks. I've really been noticing this usually never happens. It's been like a week now since that's been going on. One fourteen, big sellers.
A lot of alerts going off right now. This looks like a healthy first pullback, guys. Really, really healthy. Obviously, my limit order is way too conservative. I really don't think we're gonna go back there. I'm just kind of having it here. Um, looks like this 110 area is acting as major support. Big buyers at 112. All right, we just got an entry on this one at 1.05. Let's see if we get some support coming in here. Bit of aggressive pullback, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think it was gonna crash down that far. I'm getting ready to get out of this position just in case. Remember, big warrants on this one. Just want to be a little careful with that. Some decent support coming in now. Quite a big drop it had, about 15%. Really would like to see this area hold, this $1. I think if we could see that $1 hold, it could have a decent run on this one. All right, we, we exited our position, almost all of it. Oh, no, we didn't. I'm gonna force that exit here. All right, $69 loss, um, not too bad. Six, 7% down on that position. Go figure, it would be the one time we actually use a little bit bigger of a position size. Um, a few, a few factors on this one that had me on edge a little bit is that breakout took a little bit too long. Like I said in the beginning of this video um, or this live stream, um, you got to really, really be careful or, you know, if, if you don't get a result right away, um, there's usually a reason for that. And um, this one, just tremendous pull um, to the downside, big warrants out there. Um, I knew I was going to be playing with fire with INNT. We haven't had one. Um, that I would say is just, I don't know, just a dangerous kind of pick with the amount of warrants it had out. Um, but yeah, you win some, you lose some. And uh, it looks like our first trade of the day is uh, a little bit red. Unfortunate, yeah, I mean, it happens. Uh, it doesn't really bother me anymore. You, you, you get some. That's why, that's exactly why I, I removed my position size um, or split it across three different trades per day. It, to me, it was just too much. Um, it was just too intense to have three or just one trade per day. And I made a lot of mistakes because of that. Um, but you know, knowing now that I have two more trades, it's, it's really not that big of a deal. Let's keep watching this one. Should be really interesting to see how this one kind of plays out. Um, just 
I'm gonna move my auto send. You wanna be careful of this one. This one pulled back really, really hard. Um, let's see what happens. I still think there's a really good chance it's gonna hit 102 again. I mean 1.2, let's see what happens here. CODX pulling back really hard. You know, there's one thing I also forgot to kind of point out and that's the, the fact that the markets are a bit down today as well. Um, so when the markets are down, sometimes breakouts are a little bit weaker than you would expect. So always good to kind of keep that in consideration. Let's see what else we got here. AFH. Having a nice little bounce in this area. There's there's probably a really good chance we'll trade. Um, yeah, Sebastian, I N N T later. I could I could see myself trading this one again. Um, you know, I just have to wait for a certain setup, and the setup we traded today was was fine. And sometimes you win them, sometimes you don't. So yeah, definitely one of our probably bigger losers of the last week or two. Did you guys see that again? My computer's got a mind of its own lately, or I think it's just think or swim. It's getting a little ridiculous. Yeah, definitely some big support coming in here on INNT. You just don't know how far these things can rip down, but um, I think we probably should have bought it when it first held right here. I think that would have been the buy, forcing an entry right around here at 1.06, or even as we broke out from 1.1 would have been a good trade. Again, what, what is going on here? I'm gonna have to send this video to um, TD afterwards because this is getting ridiculous. All right, let's see here. Some port coming in at one. Where, where did I get out on that second one? So we got out at 1.02 and then we got out the rest at one at 0.98. Okay, yeah. Um, okay, we only sold 25. I read 250 originally. That's why I was so confused. Trade. So yeah, we lost about seven cents a share on that one. Woo, that was a little ripper, huh? 13 minutes now since the market opened. Big support coming in again. I don't think I'm going to be buying this, um, this support area. It almost looked like it was halted for a second. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. This should be really interesting. CODX pulling up a little bit. I'm gonna really quickly check our scanner and see if we have anything new moving. One second. Um, This one wants to bounce so bad. Is it gonna bounce? Is it gonna make me cry? Most likely. Let's see here. B-I-L-Z-E-F, guys, Dan Bilzerian's Ignite Company. Uh, where'd it go? It was, I was just looking at it. Here it is. Oh, lost it again. Right here, Ignite, up 5.5%. 106 million shares, 122 million market cap. Okay, it has basically no dollar volume, so not really interesting. Um, CODX, NVAX, all on our watch list. Um, TWMC, let me check a TWMC, this one. Looks like we missed this one. Let me go back to my charts. Okay, yeah, this one's running, guys. Let's see, big resistance here at 10. Just kind of keep an eye out for that. 
Um, key support definitely at 7.5. All right, all right. We might have something here. If we wanted to trade this, we would probably need 110 shares. They're selling a segment of their business. It seems like a huge spike for the fact that they're selling part of their company. Second pullback. ABC pattern here. We have the high, low, high, another high, and then right here, D, we might have a breakout from this area. Big support here at eight now. Seventeen point eight million dollar volume, fifteen million mark cap, one point eight million float. This thing could really rip. It could definitely keep ripping. Let's see what happens. Nice NVAX, guys. Nice uh, red to green move on it. I wanted to buy power, but I'm, I'm trying to buy 20 shares. Yeah, then you have to readjust your, your uh, shares. Um, you're probably like just a few cents below it or a dollar or something like that. It's really stressful. I know what you're talking about. It happens to me all the time. Um, and I, my orders just keep getting rejected. It's like the worst thing ever. If eight holds for a bit longer, I would probably like to get into this one. Really nice flag pattern here. The level two is not responding properly, which is really, really annoying. Big spread. Could see a break here. Trying to get an entry, might be a little too late. Let's see if we can get an entry here at the break. Looking for a break past the former high.
having going okay, a little slower than I would hope. Having some issues breaking out here. This could be a nice break past 8.75. Wasn't, wasn't ours again. Ah, well, okay, I guess that wraps up my trading for today. Not really the best day. This, this looks like it's going to be my second red day of the week. I mean, no, of the month. So good news. We've only had two red days this month, but bad news. Back-to-back -back breakout trades that didn't work in our favor. Happens sometimes. Not the end of the world. Um, we we're up 60 bucks on this trade for a split second. Uh, got out about $8. What was that? 0.8, yeah, 50 cents down on this one. Oof, that's kind of a lot. When I was saying this thing was weak and wasn't really breaking out, I should have just got out on that one. Um, and then I just went ahead and joined the ask and just closed my position. Had a pretty nice entry, just the breakout wasn't happening. Um, that's a trade I would do again. Um, I think the, the big issue with this one is the fact that it might just be a little bit overextended. 110% move, yeah. I think I was just a little too aggressive on this one just because um, the overextendedness. Oh well, it happens, that's life. You know, you win some, you lose some. Today, it looks like it's gonna be a little bit of a red day. Um, at least we took no big losses. Just, the only unfortunate thing is today, was the one day we traded with two position sizes over a thousand. All this whole month was only 850, 900. I think we had like one position over a thousand. Kind of, kind of annoying. Oh well, it happens. Really clean pattern. I would definitely do this one again, but the fact that it was so overextended should have made me probably more cautious on this specific stock. Really nice runner though. You know, everything about this is kind of looking good. Let's see what happens here. Bango mango, yeah. Two trades that just did not work out for us today. CODX, nice little pull up right here. This one's been selling off so aggressively today. I can't believe it. 15% bounce though in this area. This would have been a really tough one. NVAX looking like it could break out from 7.9. I'm not going to do any more trades uh, I'm, I'm right now. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna wait a little bit. Wait for uh, some reversals, some support to come in. I only have one trade left and unfortunately that trade doesn't have that much um, buying power. So we're only gonna be able to trade about $600. So even if we make a, a, you know, a 10% phenomenal trade, then you know that's only gonna be like 60 bucks. Um, so I'm most likely today is going to be um, just a red day. So our, our second red day of the month. Yeah, so good thing we got out of INNT. This thing just keeps on selling off. Got to really watch out with these. Could be a good trading opportunity coming up right now, though, at point nine, like Mike pointed out. Yeah, that could be a very, very clean. 
I don't know, maybe a 5% pop or something like that. Markets are all generally down today. Um, so just keep that in mind. Things like to sell off a little bit harder when the markets are down. <laughs> I appreciate it, Invisible Hand, but there's no need to be sorry. Being a trader, you, you lose uh, every single day. It's totally fine. Um, and you also win every single day. My win ratio right now is getting, I think it's 64%. Um, so losing a few hands is, is totally normal. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's actually a good thing. You want to get out of positions quickly. You don't want to hold something and you'll let it turn into a bad investment. Um, you know, holding overnight on something you should not be holding overnight. And then before you know it, you're down like 50, 60, 70, 80, hundred um, percent, which could easily happen with these reverse splits. So it's all, all gravy over here. A little unfortunate that second trade didn't work out, huh? We got right into it. I did like it a lot. And, you know, we should have closed our position when we were up and it wasn't, it didn't keep breaking to the upside. We had a pretty nice entry and we were up 6% at one point. Um, so when that failed, I should have identified that and I should have got out right here at the nine, maybe even 897, 890, um, got out at this, you know, I mean, this is a pretty serious hammer candle um, and not the hammer candle you wanna see. And now it's really breaking down to the downside, TWMC. Yeah, so really good we're out of this position. Um, you know, this thing could have really cost us. Um, and that's why that's why you get out of trades and you know, our, our, boom, see? Losses are fine, big losses are not fine. This could be a really nice reversal here. <laughs> I regret I don't have shorts. Yeah, things are really pulling back, huh? Huge support coming in here. Really, really nice. I'm gonna be definitely looking at TWMC and I'm definitely, definitely, definitely gonna be looking at INNT. Both of these are looking really good, a lot of potential. Um, so let's see what happens. It's gonna be a little tough trading this one. If we wanted to trade it, we would probably need about 900 shares. Um, our, so you can see I only have about uh, $640 in this account. So if we wanted to trade it, we'd probably need even more close to 800 shares. Yeah. So it depends how far, how low it goes. Um, big support though, near the eight. So I don't really think it's gonna, I don't know. We'll see. So yeah. So we'd probably be trading this with about 750 shares. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up the live stream there. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Unfortunately, it was a red day. Good news is, you know, we were able to capture it live so you guys could, you know, learn with me on those. So it was it was actually still pretty good fun. Um, I'm going to love rewatching these videos. And um, yeah, hopefully we get at least one green trade today. Um, so let's wrap up the trading. It was really fun having so many people in here. Don't forget to leave a like if you haven't done so already and you enjoy this content. And you know, if you're new here, consider subscribing. I'm gonna be coming out with a recap video in a little bit. If you guys have any questions, there's a FAQ in the video description below. So guys, stay safe and like always make some awesome trades, not like my two that I made today. <laughs> All right guys, till next time, ciao, ciao.